Uh, Oke, okay, good morning. Good morning, dok. So, do you have a class after this? Do you have classes after this? After our class? After this, do you have class? Yes, good, dok. It took time us to enter. What happened? Well, anyway, uh, this morning, uh, I am supposed to lecture on the uh, different psychodynamics school of thoughts. But however, I will just elaborate on the first and the two important persons who contributed to the uh, psychiatric thoughts and practice. So in a way, this is uh, a part of our life cycle. No? Uh, there were other psychiatrists or psychologists or neurologists who contributed, but uh, these two persons, the uh, uh, Freud and the, the Erickson, no? they, uh, according to Freud, uh, he said that uh, human beings no? passes up uh, the, the sequential stages and if we are able or if we fail to resolve the different stages that we have there would be physical cognitive uh, social and emotional maladjustment no? so likewise according to Erickson it would result to uh, psychosocial crisis so uh, these two persons, uh, they contributed to the development of man. And uh, according to Freud, that is the psychosexual stages of man. And according to Erickson, psych uh, psychosexual, uh, according to Erickson, that is psychosocial stages of man. So according to Freud, there were only five. Uh, and according to uh, Erickson, uh, there were eight stages of uh, man, or there were uh, stages, uh, eight stages of psychosocial, uh, according to Freud, life cycle. So anyway, we'll take up the first stage. That is the stage one. Uh, here we, I don't know, I know most of you had already passed uh, or knew, know about this uh, life cycle. And that, that is according to Freud, you have the basic trust versus basic mistrust. So that is psychosocial Erickson, that is Erickson. You know? Basic trust versus basic mistrust. And according to Freud, that is oral stage. And uh, the age is usually birth or zero to one year old. So in basic trust versus basic mistrust, uh, this can be developed at zero to one year old. So if at this stage you cannot trust, you have mistrust to your friends, even to your sisters and brothers, you have to go back to how you were uh, reared up, reared up you know, by your parents. Because it is said that uh, trust or mistrust develop during zero to one year old. So how does trust or mistrust develop? So trust is being developed when we are still babies. Our needs are being given to us. Uh, when we cry, when we are happy. So we depend on the outside world. So our mother, our care, Takers uh, gave us the proper care that we need, the food that we need. So in that way, we are able to develop our trust. But however, if those uh, essential needs no, during our development were not given to us, or there is over, no, for example, our yayas at home are busy texting. So even if 
you they, you just need or we just need some virus, no? So they immediately give us milk, no? So maybe you will develop mistrust. That, that is overly giving your essential needs, no? Especially your uh, bodily needs, your food, no? So that is how trust or basic mistrust develop. So according to Freud, that is oral stage. Oral stage in the sense that uh, when we have discomfort, when we are hungry, when we feel pain. No? So mostly uh, we will just be given milk, so we stop crying, we stop, uh, we feel comfortable. No? That's why it is called oral stage. And that is according to Freud, and that is zero to one year old. So that is stage one. So again, that is how trust being developed and how mistrust being developed. So we, you cannot just say that up to this point in time when we are adult already, when you cannot trust, uh, there's something wrong at this, this stage when you are adult, no? So, but you have to go back again as I've said, to your zero to one year old, how you were uh, developed, the rearing practice at home, when your yayas are being around just to give you or not to give you what you need or your food. You are just crying, no? So you have developed mistrust. Then you uh, will go to your, your stage two. These are the basic, no? Other, other psychodynamic thoughts were just contributory or they are just disciples of Freud and Erickson or the proteges of Freud and Erickson. So I, again, I elaborate on this because uh, according to Freud, this is an epi epigenetic principle of life. You know? Meaning to say this is sequential. If you cannot resolve the stage one, so there must be something wrong in the stage two. So in stage two, according to Erickson, you have the autonomy versus shame and doubt. So what is autonomy? Autonomy means independence. So shame and doubt. So in trying to become independent, there is always false move. For example, uh, oftentimes, now we're already using our uh, diapirs, no? uh, before uh, you can just move anywhere, no? sometimes uh, uh, your mother would want you to, to say something, a word that would signal that you are having, you are uh, making popo, no? so sometimes you are being uh, slapped by your mother, you are being punished when you are trying to Move your uh, bowel, know that uh, becomes dirty, in example, in your sala. So, what happened? You, in your trying to become independent, you become doubtful of what you are doing. So, this is also one way of uh, trying to become uh, having a compulsion, compulsion doubting. That is the pathology. Compulsion doubting because in your trying to become independent, uh, as I've said, you have false move, but you cannot be perfect immediately because at this stage, uh, you can already control your anal sphincter, and that is why Freud called this stage anal stage. Anal stage again because you're able to control your sphincteric tone. So if you are about to move, no? And your mother, you have your diaphragm is not yet ready. Your mother will spank you or try to tell you do, do not make pupu yet because you are not yet uh, ready. Your diaphragm is not yet ready. We have, we have to still get, no? So you cannot uh, impose your internal control. 
And that is why you have shame and doubt. So anal stage. Anal stage, again, in the sense that you can already control your sphincteric tone. Your anus. No? Anal sphincter. No? So the stage is one to three years old. No? So the first stage is zero to one year old. The second stage is your one to three years old. So uh, you can see that uh, the development of man, no? sequential, it is sequential. For what you are now, you must have passed stage one, you must have passed stage two. But if there is something that you are not able to resolve, there must be wrong already in the following or in the sequential staging of your development. So that is autonomy versus shame and doubt. Then you have your stage three. So when you are three to five years old, you have the so-called development of your initiative versus guilt. There is also equivalent pathologic characteristic when you are not able to resolve this stage. So initiative, meaning to say, here according to Erickson, you try to explore the world, the things. You know? So in trying to explore an example, maybe when you're still small uh, or baby, uh, some of you, your mother will uh, give you toys or buy toys, a very expensive toy. So in the midst of your uh, exploration you know, of your curiosity, so you try to open up your toys, you try to destroy your toys, you are so curious what is inside you know, and why is this uh, uh, having this characteristic you try to open up until sometimes your parents or your caretaker will uh, again punish you. So what happened in trying to exploration or to explore your world, the world, you have guilt. So that's why when we grow adult, when we have some pathologic uh, problem, uh, everything we feel that it is because of us and that is our uh, mistake you know? because during your development when you are trying to explore it seems that when things not is not or when things go wrong so you feel guilty you know? because of the punishment that is given to you, which your parents should not do that, because that is a part of your development. So that is your initiative. At this stage, at three to five, three to five years old, you are trying to explore, and when you are being, being punished because you destroy something, when you grow adult, there is some sort of guilt feelings in you, even though if that is not your mistake. Uh, according to Freud, you call this one also as the phallic or the power phase. Because at this stage, phallic means phallus. Phallus, penis. You know? So at this stage, the center of interest of all of us, male or female, is the penis. You know? That is unconsciously. You know? Uh, Oedipal phase, so in Oedipal phase, there is uh, attraction to the opposite. Oedipal because Oedipal. 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 In Oedipal phase, Oedipal, because Oedipus was the one who, who tried to, to see himself in the 
in the well, no? How he, he was, how he was doing her, his physical being. That's why phallic or audible phase. So at this stage, uh, there is an opposite attraction of the uh, child to the opposite sex parents, no? So for example, unconsciously, that is unconsciously. So the mother, the child, the female child will have an opposite attraction to his father, to her father. And the female, the male child has an opposite attraction to her mother. No? However, at this stage, uh, there is already the formation of your superego. What is superego? That is your uh, conscience. That is your moral. No? So that is why you are going to resolve of your having an attraction to your mother and to your father. And that it is wrong to have the physical attraction, but as I said, it is unconsciously. No? It is also at the stage wherein you have your role modeling. Role modeling, your mother and father when they are around, may have to model their father, the sense of maleness, and the uh, female or the girls have the sense of female fe femaleness uh, as they mother their uh, mother their mother. So this is also the stage where in homosexuality arises. You know? It may not be the 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 sole factor where in some would go into homosexuality, whether a female, that is lesbianism, and, and a male. Because sometimes our parents are, there is some shift of the mother becomes dominant and the father becomes the passive. So if the father is passive, there is the possibility that the male, of course, will uh, try to model their mother. So they tend to to shift to the characteristic of their mother, the dominant mother, so they have the uh, sense of, or the sense of femaleness. You know? Likewise, uh, the female, if the father also is very passive, so they try to model their mother. So this one of the contributory factor of homosexuality stage three that is phallic on our face that is three to five years old now let's go to stage four that is industry versus inferiority that is six to eleven years old industry in the sense that at this stage the child or we when we're still a child children were about to go to school. This is the stage wherein we try to develop our skills, no? our abilities at this stage. This is what you call latency phase according to Freud. Latency phase because at this stage, our sexual unconscious attraction to our parents is being shifted to skill development. So that's why Latin. You know? So industry, as I've said, uh, when you are going to school and your mother or your father or your sisters and brothers are there to guide you, to, to teach you in your studies, you develop a better and in an industry. You know? A better uh, uh, you become honor pupil or honor student. You no, know? during these days, if you are being guided. However, if the opposite is not being given to you, you develop inferiority. Inferiority in the sense that your skills, your talents were not developed, so you were not able to contribute to your studies. 
So what happened? So there will deterioration of your interest in your studies because you have a problem of learning because of your skills was not developed or your skill was not being developed. So uh, as an example, uh, you can see that most of the mothers are working abroad and the fathers are only around. You can observe that when the child becomes a high school student, they do not share interest in their studies. Why? Because during stage four, as I've said, it is the time where the skills and talents should be developed. And at this stage, when mother is not around, they are working uh, as domestic helpers or whatever work they have abroad. When they come home, so they will always blame the children that uh, uh, they were working so hard outside. But however, we cannot blame the children because this is the stage that the children should need uh, the assistance or we let them try to develop their skills and talents. So when they go to high school, they can some of it doesn't mean not not all because there are aunties, there are your elder sisters around guiding you or uh, teaching you. So those who are left behind, they nobody would guide you in your studies. So you develop inferiority and you you have no any more interest in your studies, and that is why. As I've said, that is inferiority. That is six to 11 years old. You know? Latency phase. Because latency means there is no more sexual unconscious you know, attraction to your opposite parents. So it becomes latent. So when it's latent, your focus of interest is toward of your studies, the guidance of your parents, of your caretakers. You know? That is six to 11 years old. Then you have your stage five. Stage five is identity versus role diffusion. So according to Erickson, uh, this is stage where in you are looking or you are asking, who am I? Where am I going to? So in that way, you are trying to develop your identity. You have your worship. You try to uh, follow your uh, the way, for example, the, the way the dre we dress from the different people, your, your own model are your teachers, are some of us are the artists, no? So because we are still looking for identity, no? we are not yet sure of ourselves, no? What really would we follow maybe behaviorally physically socially so when it is not being developed you know, when you cannot resolve at this stage you have the so-called role diffusion so what happened when you have role diffusion that is the result now wherein you are lost you get lost so you will have you will uh uh, staying away from home or you go into drug addiction because you have road diffusion. An example of this is sometimes there is a gap, especially in communication between our parents or the society. And sometimes the parents would not understand us versus society. For example, before uh, those times and our times uh, our going to the outside you no know, having recreation would just up to nine o'clock in the evening so we are allowed you have to go home but nowadays uh, you have your uh, different recreation so it starts at 12 o'clock which the parents sometimes could not anymore understand us and the society is behaving that way. So what happened? You have role diffusion. 
Where, which would I follow? At home or the society? So before, even before, you can just, uh, very simple, it's just your, the way you dress, you know? Your mother will buy you a pair of pants. And sometimes uh, you can see outside that your pants is, their pants is having many holes or there are, you try to rip your pants in a way that it looks like you can be with the people outside because that is the fad. Good that we have that pants now who are already at ma having many holes, no? So sometimes it contradicts, contradict between the, the mother, the traits of home, no? That is uh, being uh, infused to us versus the society. So what happened? You have your own diffusion. So in trying to, to, to incorporate those many things, many examples, you know, many, many hero worship. So it is for most of the states, the normative crisis. You are at the crisis because you do not know what to do, whether to follow outside, again, as I've said, or whether to follow what your mother will tell you or will tell you and will even tell you that it is a sin, no? Not to do this, uh, to do this or not to do this, no? So again, according to Freud, this is what you call the genital phase. Genital phase in the sense that at, at this stage, your sexual, uh, what you call that sexual, uh, characteristics no? is being reawakened in a more mature way. Unlike in your stage three, that it is only unconscious. In stage five, it is already in a mature way. You try already to have at this stage having a relationship with your peers, your friends. So you, you call the stage genital phase. And that is the stage, and the, the, the age is 11 years old to the end of your adolescence. So you can see the, the sequential uh, stages of our life. You know? So that is stage five. You know? Then you have your stage six, and maybe some of you are at this stage, your intimacy versus self-absorption or isolation. Intimacy in the sense that as we go back to your stage five, as I've said, you have your relationship already, you know? But at stage six, it seems that there's already, you have permanent relationship. You are able, intimacy, you're able to give and to receive. And you're able to to have uh, your loved ones, you know, your sexual partners in life, 21 to 40 years old. But however, if you aren't able to resolve you know, at this intimacy, you will have self-absorption or isolation. Meaning to say, you cannot have a give and take relationship so what happened, you try to isolate yourself. Why? Because you are not able to resolve the previous stage that is identity versus role diffusion. So intimacy is very important because this is where uh, the foundation of the relationship, especially when you get married, this stage is important but however as i've said if you cannot resolve the previous stages there will be some problem in your subsequent stage of your development so that is the age of 21 to 40 years old then you have your next stage that is stage seven that is 40 to 45 years old or even 60, 60 
65 years old, 40 to 65 years old. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. 40 to 65 years old. That is generativity versus stagnation. So at this stage, most of us are already established no, in their relationship, in their marriage. No? So generate means to have children. But however, it doesn't mean that if you do not have a child, there is no generativity. Generativity means you are able to contribute to the society in many ways. You are having some, uh, for example, you are a member of some a religious organization, you are a member of some clubs, no? That is generativity. You are able to contribute to the society, no? But however, if you go back to your uh, isolation, you cannot, you are not able to resolve the stages previously. You tend to isolate yourself. So how can you be generative to the community? So it's not only, as I've said, having children. It is 40 to 65 years old. That is stage seven. Then you have your stage eight. No? Stage eight, according to Erickson, that is integrity versus despair and isolation. Integrity in the sense that you're able to accept that, is, that there is uh, individual differences, that you are different from other, for others, and you are able to accept who you are. Because if you cannot accept your previous stages, if you cannot accept who you are, you will always have despair and isolation. So uh, it seems that the tendency here is you even have, have the fear of dying because you cannot accept that at this stage, this is the stage wherein things that should happen, but you are not able again to resolve the previous stages. So you have despair and isolation. That is now 65 and over 65 years old. That is the last stage according to Erickson. That is the psychosocial stage, according to Erickson. According to Freud, up Freud stage is up to only stage five. That is identity versus role diffusion. And stage six to stage eight is according to Erickson. So those are the different uh, contributions to psychiatric thoughts and practices and how we develop and how we were developed and how we are able to resolve our different stages of life and how we are now and why our behavior, our cognitive values, our emotional, we have, if we have emotional maladjustment, why are we like this? It's because, because of your different stages in life. And as I've said, we are not able to resolve the different stages of life, there will be maladjustment, again, as to physical, cognitive, social, emotional, and psychosocial crisis. So meaning to say, this is a combination of the psychodynamics of Erickson and Freud. So, I, I, I hope as an adult now, we are able to understand ourselves, why we are behaving, why having, we have some thoughts like this and like that, why our cognition is like this and like that, why we have some fears, why we have some anxieties, no? But as I've said, anxiety is, is normal, but when it becomes already persistent, that is become abnormal. But these things is a result 
of the different stages that we have. And again, as I've said, if you are not able to try to examine yourself, what happened to our, let's go back, what happened to our, my zero to one year old? Do I have this trust? Do I was uh, were I able to develop my trust and basic mistrust? Because as I've said, it's not a trust now that you're adult that you were able to develop. It trust developed when you are zero to one year old. And again, the second stage is your autonomy versus shame and doubt. Why you're always doubting, why you cannot uh, have uh, uh, trying to be having some independent independence no? because you feel shame and doubt always as you try to grow go to stage three you have some guilt so you cannot contribute because you have fear of exploration of having some uh, trying to know the world you no know? outside you and a stage four you are not able to develop your skills and talents and stage five as you grow older you are able to know your identity who you are where am i going to and as you go along you have intimacy versus self-absorption intimacy meaning to say you are able to give and you can able to receive because it's not only just receive and receive but you have to be able to give also otherwise you cannot go to your stage seven because if you cannot give how can you contribute to the community so there will be stagnation until when you have, have this age there will be despair if you cannot have, cannot accept yourself, the integrity that you should have, so there will be despair and isolation. So these are the basic psychodynamics of our development, our life cycle. Uh, next, before we go to our examination, your examination is on November 16. November 16, isn't it? November no. Is your is your uh, schedule in psychiatry? 